the reason why we care about whether a molecule is polar or nonpolar is it explains a lot of the behavior and also what state that a molecule tends to be in. And so we're going to look at uh, gases versus liquids in a few minutes. But a nonpolar molecule is a symmetrical molecule where the electrons are evenly distributed. And so that molecule does not have a positive side or a negative side. So basically, there are no attractive forces between these types of molecules. And if there's no attractive force between them, there's no reason for those particles to be close together. So for example, hydrogen, I've drawn that, and this is supposed to be a big separation in space. There are no attractions keeping hydrogen molecules close to each other. So uh, spread out generally means that that compound exists as a gas. And we know hydrogen is a gas, so is oxygen. So the gas that we breathe to live, oxygen, uh, is a gas at room temperature. Nitrogen is also a gas at room temperature. Okay. So these, remember, are nonpolar because any atom bonded to itself is going to have an even sharing of electrons. If we look at polar molecules, polar automatically means we have a, that's out of focus, sorry. Polar automatically means we have a slightly positive side of the molecule and slightly negative side of the molecule. That's because the electrons would be more on one side of the molecule than the other. And so this is an lopsided looking molecule. For example, water. If we drew water indicating its shape, this molecule is lopsided. So a lot of water's properties are due to the fact that it's polar. So we have this negative side over here where all these extra electrons are, and then this side of a water molecule would be more positive. So it's not completely positive like an ion, but it's more positive on this side than the other side. And because of this lopsided molecule and the electrons being more on one side, this ends up being polar. And that's exactly what a magnet has. It has a polarity. So even the North Pole and South Pole of the Earth uh, are named because our Earth has a magnetic field. So. There are attractive forces, just like a magnet. We can feel that force of attraction. If we have two magnets that are uh, close to each other, they'll pull toward each other. So this causes molecules to be closer together. And that uh, close together is generally means that that compound is a liquid. So we're going to be looking at three forces of attraction, depending on whether the molecule is nonpolar or whether it's polar. And we're going to see that gases, if something's a gas, it has a low boiling point because uh, a gas already boiled. Going from a liquid to a gas is what boiling means. Okay. If something's a liquid at room temperature, that means it has a high boiling point. So water is a liquid at room temperature. We have to add heat in order to make water turn into a gas. So anything that's a liquid is automatically going to have a high boiling point, And anything that's a gas has a low boiling point. So we would have to cool a gas down to a very low temperature to turn it back into a liquid. So we're going to look at uh, polar versus nonpolar, and then these attractive forces, and what that says about the state that that compound is probably going to exist in. And then that's directly uh, analogous to its boiling point.